This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Good afternoon. My name is Ray Tsuchiyama, and I am the host for another show on the series Business in Hawaii. And we have a unique guest today named Ken Hirata, and he is the founder of a company called Hawaiian Shochu Company. And in fact, he represents a growing trend of entrepreneurs coming to Hawaii and starting new businesses, new ventures. And we're going to talk today about a product and a world that some people in Hawaii may not be aware of called Chochu. And it's an alcoholic drink, not to be confused with Japanese sake, which we will talk about differences uh, in, a, in a few minutes. And it is a unique drink that it has experienced a boom in Japan over the past few years, among, especially among young people. And it used to be a much more of a conservative old people's drink uh, called shochu. But now it's really taken a big boom um, kind of a trend in Japan. Welcome to the show, Mr. Hirata. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. And I want to start off and with your background, where were you born and raised? Um, I was born in Osaka, Japan, and I grew up there until I graduated from high school in Osaka. And from there, did you go to college? Yes, uh, I, um, I was lucky enough to attend a college on the mainland. Yes, which one, which one was that? Uh, I yeah. went to uh, Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. No. In college, did you study anything dealing with uh, 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 like um, uh, wine or beer or, <laughs> or anything no. about uh, making, uh, making uh, you know, uh, beverages at all? Uh, no, uh, my major was business, okay. but I surely practice uh, drinking. <laughs> uh. Okay, so, so uh, and, and after, after college, uh, what kind of career did you have? Oh, I first uh, started off with uh, um, uh, financial. I work. I started working for financial institution in Hong Kong. Right. right. Yeah, and then I went back to Japan and uh, worked for um, other companies. And yeah, um, the la my last career before I started uh, doing this was uh, product development. Oh, yeah. Now, when did you? Th when did you have the idea of becoming a person who will make uh, shochu. When, when did that happen? Oh, um, it was about 15, 20 years ago when I was uh, visiting Hawaii from Japan as a tourist. I was, at uh, that time I was eating poi right. uh, in Hawaii and then I thought if, if they have something like this, you know, poi is a fermented food right. from uh, taro. Right. Uh, so I thought maybe I can make shochu in Hawaii. Okay. But so that time I was just joking with my friends. Right, right. But that was where the idea suddenly appeared uh, one day. Yeah. Now, um, so we'll, go, we'll get to the uh, uh, question right now. What is shochu? Uh, shochu is a, a distilled spirit native to Japan. And how old do you think people have been making shochu and drinking oh, it in Japan? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I heard that it was that they started making shochu in the 15th century. Wow, that's a, that's a 15th century, so 1400s. Wow. Yeah. And and um, uh, now there's many uh, ingredients uh, that are, that is that is the base for shochu. Can you right. name some of them? Yes, uh, shochu, as you can, as you said, uh, shochu can be made from a variety of ingredients. Ours is made from sweet potatoes. I think it's the most popular uh, shochu consumed in Japan today. Uh, but shochu can be made from barley, right. uh, mugi shochu, right. rice, right. kome shochu, right. buckwheat, soba shochu, right. 
sugar cane, shochu, right. chestnut shochu. Right. You can find a variety of shochu. And I've heard of the carrots country. also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are some unique ones too. And uh, shiso. Uh, shiso, uh, yeah, shiso sometimes leaves. they make shochu from milk. Uh, uh, from milk? Yeah. And, and this is a ex sample of the sweet potato. Yeah. And this is grown in Hawaii. Yes. What part uh, of Hawaii does it come from? Um, you know, in Hawaii, there are over 30 varieties of show, uh, sweet potatoes grown in Hawaii. Right. So uh, this is the Okinawa sweet potatoes. Right. If you rank it, it's, yeah. oh, it's wow. purple. You're, you're, you're yeah. strong. <laughs> you're young. Yeah. So okay. this purple sweet potato is, yeah. um, ah. can be grown wow. in many areas, right. including here in Oahu right, right. or Big Island, right. Kauai, Maui. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, of course, though, uh, you, uh, sweet potatoes are not the only ingredient in, in, in uh, shochu, right? Yes. Uh, what other ingredients uh, 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 form shochu, or, or are there other ingredients? Uh, to our, we mix uh, authentic shochu. Uh, in order to be called authentic shochu, uh, koji has to be applied. Uh, in a fermentation process. And what is koji? Oh, koji is a microorganism. Oh. It is actually a mold, okay. fungus. Is it not a yeast, but it's more like a, a mold? It's a you mold. Say? Oh, mold. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good mold, okay. fungus. Good mold. Okay. Um, you might not be familiar with yeah. koji, but many people have been eating koji. Oh. We use koji for miso making, miso making? shoyu making, shoyu, right. mirin, katsubushi, sake, no natto. No, natto. Okay. I, uh, I all kinds of <laughs> Japanese fermented okay. food. Why, why don't we put up the first slide here? And, and uh, while we wait, oh, here it is. Okay, this is the first slide. Yes, okay. that's uh, our and, product. And, and that's uh, your, your product. And what's the name of this, uh, uh, of the, your product? Um, our brand name is Nami Hana. Right, and Nami is what in Japanese? Uh, Nami means wave. And, and Hana? Flower. Flower, well, that's a very beautiful name. Now, did you come up with the name yourself or yeah. uh, with, uh, with uh, other just, people? Uh, or? My, uh, my wife and I yeah. uh, thought of it, and okay. then we decided to name. All right, uh, and, and what is that besides the bottle? Oh, that's a ceramic pots, or we, we can call it vat. Uh, it's a big ceramic pot that we use for a fermentation process. Okay. My master yeah. in Kagoshima gave us. Oh. Uh, so they all came from Kagoshima, Japan, wow. and they're about 150 years old. 150 years old. Now, um, why don't we go to the next slide? Oh. This is, this looks like the uh, like the uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. color of the uh, sweet potato here. And what is that? Uh, that's the mash. Uh, right. We are actually uh, fermenting the uh, ingredients in a, a vat. Right. Uh, the mixture is, is a koji rice and the sweet potatoes. Oh. That ingredient is being fermented right. inside the uh, vat. So it's kind of bubbling away and yeah. making alcohol? Yeah, is that what that's it's what doing? It, okay. it, uh, it's okay. doing right now. Now, when you compare this uh, to a Japanese uh, sake made of rice, is it similar kinds of uh, um, uh, uh, operation or is it different? Uh, in some ways, it's very similar. Yeah. Uh, but So up to the fermentation process, sake and shochu are similar. Right. Both sake and shochu, we we must use koji right. for, as a key ingredient. Uh, after fermentation process, uh, sake is, uh, for sake, you just drink the extract from right. the mash. Right. Shochu, we distill the mash. Okay, so, so distill is the major word yeah. here, distillation. Okay, yeah. that's, and is our uh, spirits like vodka and whiskey also distilled? That's correct. Okay, so it's th they're more similar to shochu yes, than shochu sake, is the Japanese to, sake. Yes, okay, shochu I got is it. similar to those distilled right. spirits. Okay, next, next slide, please. I forgot uh, uh, to ask, uh, your, your, uh, uh, your kura or distillery is in Haliva, am I correct? Yes. Okay. And there it is. Uh, oh. No, this is this is what is, what is this? Uh, this is uh, my master's okay. uh, distillery in Kagoshima. Right. I was an apprentice under my master Manzen, and then uh, this is where I learned uh, traditional handcraft shochu making techniques. Now, uh, shochu is big in Kyushu. Yeah, that's that's where uh, Kagoshima is prefecture of Kyushu, 
and I've heard that each region within this island of Kyushu has a different ingredient to base for shochu. Can you explain that? Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Kagoshima is uh, known for uh, sweet potato shochu. Next to Kagoshima, uh, it's a Kumamoto. Right. Kumamoto is known for uh, rice shochu. Oh. About Kumamoto, if you go up, Nagasaki, Oita, yeah. they make a barley type barley, of shochu. Yeah, okay. So Mugi, if, right, yeah. right. So even within a small island of Kyushu, yeah. if you visit a uh, different part of Kyushu, yeah. people drink different type of sh uh, shochu. Well, that's interesting because Kumamoto and Kagoshima are right next door to each other. Yeah. Very, very, they're not very big places. Right. But uh, what you're saying is one region of Kumamoto prefecture is much more focused on sweet potatoes, yeah. the other on rice, you yeah. say. Yeah, because my ancestors come from Kumamoto, mm. and, and that's how we drink uh, shochu with uh, raw horse meat, <laughs> basashi, <Yeah. laughs> which is a big, big uh, lunchtime like treat too. there. Uh, yeah. but, uh, and and um, uh, so this uh, kura, this um, uh, shochu uh, uh, distillery where you uh, apprenticed, is it old? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. It's a family, a small, a small distillery, family owned, and uh, uh, you know all the traditions and techniques has been passed on to generation to generation. And how long were you there as an apprentice? Only three years. Oh, what, how long? Three years. Three years. That's a long time. No, uh, <laughs> three years. Wow. It's kind of wow. short. No, no. It's like getting uh, a, a full education. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, oh, and what is this? That's my wife. Okay, and your wife and you and, are uh, myself. And, and those, those uh, and, and what do you call those uh, right in front of them? Uh, uh, we call kametsubo. Kametsubo, right? Uh, uh, vats, right? Uh, uh, clay pots. Um, we use those as you saw a previous uh, photo. Right. We use those to uh, ferment. Right. The ingredients. Now. Um, when, when uh, I, I heard just uh, recently that you've completed a phase, so is it a fall and a spring production schedule or cycle yeah. that you do? Okay. Uh, we do two batches per year yeah. in spring and fall. Okay. And we just finished uh, uh, fall production right. work uh, around Thanksgiving. So what I'm hearing is that you do everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really tezukuri in Japanese or like a really a handcrafted yeah. Uh, uh, shochu. I right. mean, I mean, it, it's like uh, having a whiskey made by a little family <laughs> in, yeah, in, Scotland, in Scotland. Yeah. You know, uh, and and so uh, when you uh, uh, and you also put the, uh, the shochu in a bottle, why doesn't it? Uh, um, uh, isn't it purple like uh, it was in the mash? No. Uh, it's because uh, shochu is distilled. Oh, all the distilled spirits, including whiskey, vodka, gin, right. rum. Right after they are distilled, right. they all come out clear. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, because uh, distillation process it's a it's a separation right. um, of uh, alcohol from right. the ingredients right. by using the um, heat. Right. And uh, the ingredient uh, alcohol gets evaporated from the mash. Right. So that you know that steam oh. doesn't transfer the color. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's hard to explain here. Yeah, but, but it's very yeah. chemical engineering kind of uh, discussion that we are we're having already. But you're correct that uh, a lot of people expect a Scotch uh, whiskey to be brown, but actually. Yeah. Uh, they add coloring later, as you know. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. the coloring comes from the uh, barrels, right, uh, right. you know, the, the uh, uh, sherry or, or uh, wine barrels mm -hmm. or bourbon barrels and yeah. so forth. But sometimes, and I'm uh, sad to hear, but they add caramel coloring so <laughs> because they expect that. Right. They expect that to be part of the scotch, uh, right. you know, uh, yeah. ambiance there. But this is uh, so it's very clear. And, and uh, so, who uh, is your best market for uh, for Namihana, or what do you? Uh, but what what are you trying to do with with uh, with shochu in Hawaii? Are you, are you trying to build a community of shochu drinkers or, or people who would expand mm. to drink shochu in Hawaii? Uh, that's a good question. When I started, I wasn't really thinking about it, yeah. but. Uh, uh, it's made from uh, uh, local ingredients, right. the sweet potatoes. So the first thing is we would like people in Hawaii to know that uh, um, 
this is uh, come from the land of Hawaii. Ah, okay. So, well, well, let's hold that thought because we're going to take a break okay. and return with more of your insights about Shochu. Okay. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. We're back in a discussion about this vegetable, a sweet potato, that becomes this. And we're here with Ken Hirata discussing the history and really the world of shochu. And this drink has become really a part of J Japanese izakaya or drinking culture. And, but now this is expanded to Hawaii, and we're just in the middle of Mr. Hirata's kind of view of how, why, why shochu in Hawaii? And, and uh, is it a Hawaiian product? Is it a Japanese product in Hawaii? Uh, is it going to be part of Hawaiian culture? Or you can make uh, a, a very traditional Japanese drink out of a potato grown in the land of Hawaii. Go ahead. What, what, what is this shochu all about? Oh, <laughs> it's difficult to explain, but uh, um, shochu is a, a value-added product right. uh, made from uh, um, agricultural uh, processed right. uh, food. So uh, it, since I came to uh, Hawaii and uh, um, as a part, become a part of a community, right. we I was hoping that we can help each other with the community members uh, in order for us to develop uh, value-added products mm. as uh, um, agricultural uh, resources. I thought uh, it would be a um, good uh, promotion for Hawaiian agriculture and, of course, shochu itself and uh, um, the value-added products from Hawaii, I think, would sell and has a big appeal to the world. That's very exciting. And I, what you're saying, I, I believe, is, is very, very um, uh, instructive or gives uh, insights to really creating new products based on very Hawaiian things, which is on the ground, and could lead to exports and mm. could really create new jobs, and right. create, create uh, um, you know, feelings of, uh, I, I guess, uh, uplifting economy and community in, in the end. Uh, but it's, it's uh, very much something, like you said, uh, not exists by itself, but you have to develop it so it has a nice bottle, the marketing, the name, and all that. I think that's the value add also, right. uh, not only the uh, distillation itself. Um, so going back to uh, Namihana, uh, uh, what were the reactions of people who first tasted it, or are the reactions different among people, local people, and or visitors of Japan, what have been the responses? Oh, good question. Um, many people in Hawaii think uh, we, the Japanese people, uh, drink uh, sake. Right, right. So still many people don't know much about shochu. Yeah? Um, but when they come and do a tour at our place and they do the tasting, they find out uh, shochu is um, suitable for what they eat oh, in Hawaii okay. because Hawaii is a warm, uh, right. has a warm climate and uh, they tend to eat, eat uh, rich flavored food. Right. 
Shochu is dry compared oh, to sake. Right, right, right. So shochu can be paired with uh, uh, rich flavored mm -hmm. food better right. co compared to sake. I right. drink sake, so I, I love sake too. Right. But sometimes what you pair with, right. uh, it's uh, very important mm -hmm. when you drink. Uh, I, uh, going back to um, the uh, shochu in, in Japan, and you talked about uh, different regions, even within an island, about shochu. What has been the history of shochu uh, in Japan itself? Uh, as you know, it's made a comeback you right, know, yeah. last few years. Uh, uh, actually, shochu has been experienced a boom, yeah. um, especially among young people. Why, why is that? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question, too. Uh, just like a few years ago in America or Hawaii, vodka was a cheap drink for that, blue-collar right. right. workers yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. Right. Now you find a premium type of right. vodka, like or tequila. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right, right, yeah, or tequila, think, right? Yeah, yeah very expensive. I think the same type of uh, trend came to the um, uh, shochu world. I used to uh, sake was a drink uh, of a uh, you know, it's more expensive it used right. to be, and the shochu was kind of cheap. Right, right. I uh, drink everyday uh, yep. drink, but uh, uh, you know shochu. Um, um, producers have made a big, big effort to uh, make shochu more uh, attractive and suitable for um, younger generation. So now, now, for local people, if they wanted to come to your um, uh, Haleiwa Kura, and, and um, you have a very beautiful um, uh, building and, and in a very lush area near uh, the ocean. What, uh, how can they get in touch with you so they can arrange for oh. a tour uh, uh, or, or um, just to uh, talk to you and, and get more of a you know a real flavor of how, how these <laughs> sweet potatoes are made into... Uh, yeah. uh, I know you have very uh, limited times during your production period, but uh, when are the best periods to uh, call you up and say, oh. you know, how, do, how can they do that and visit you? Uh, people in Hawaii have been really supportive and amazing. Uh, we feel really grateful. Um, I don't know how they found out about us, but they, we have an uh, email oh, okay. address. So they send us email okay. uh, re requesting a tour or uh, uh, place orders. And then, so sending us an email. And what's the email? Uh, e our email address is K-A-L-A-S-S. -S. Oh, no, my mistake. That's my okay. personal one. <laughs> okay. Uh, K A L O I M O okay. at Kalaimo. gmail yeah at gmail.com. Kalaimo at gmail.com. All right, that's great. That's great. And, and um, what when they come, what kind of questions do they ask about about uh, about making oh, shochu? Uh, what just, are they curious about? Just like I just mentioned, they don't know much about shochu, yeah, yeah. so they ask me, you know, what shochu is oh. and how they. So how shochu is different from uh, sake That's or right. different from yeah. other types yeah. of So they have fundamental spirits. questions. Yeah. Next slide, please, Rich. Oh, what's this? <laughs> this is, I think this is mixed. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh. oh, is this good? What's this? Oh, this is in the small uh, building on the left side right. is our, sh our shochu distillery. Okay. Uh, this is a sweet potato farm in our backyard. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like a uh, farm to kura. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Adjacent to each other. Our good friends, uh, local farmer, grower, they come into a place and they grow sweet potatoes for oh. us. Wow. So this is a, a picture of the sweet potato. Oh, oh, there it is, of course. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's just like, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you can find a variety of shochu in, I mean, the sweet potatoes yeah. in Hawaii. Over 30 varieties, wow. I heard that they uh, can wow. find. So yellow one, purple one, yeah. white one, yeah. brown skin, red right. skin, all kinds of sweet right. potatoes you can find. That's amazing. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, small yeah. uh, dog is our dog, okay. pet, Imo. Yeah. Imo means sweet potato. <laughs> but the, those the big vats, right. that's the one that we use for fermentation process. Now, how many of those vats did you bring? Or, or, uh, uh, we have Hawaii? 15 of those. 15. Now, yeah. that must be a tremendous yeah. <laughs> issue to bring each of those vats right. all the way from yeah. Kagoshima. This is the picture when they 
arrived wow. in Hawaii from wow. Japan. Wow. So, uh, you know, I'm really thankful not, yeah. no, none of them broke. Oh, wow. is, is this the only way to make shochu in these vats? No, no, this oh. is a traditional way of right, shochu, right. making shochu. Okay. In Japan, not so many people use these oh. anymore right. because they're, they have been replaced by the by big, big vats, big containers, ceramic, right? Ceramic, yeah, yeah, right. Um, stainless steel Stainless tanks. steel, just like beer making beer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. not so many people use this oh, interesting. anymore. So it, it's, it, it's, it's unique that you're in Hawaii, in Haleiwa, making shochu, but you're making it in those vats that are very, very traditional. Right. That's two things that makes yeah, it very unique. We wanted unique. to bring the Japanese uh, beautiful traditions and history oh, wow. along with the shochu making. Oh, that's, that's very fascinating. Um, now, what's the future like for, for you in Hawaii? Are you going to increase production because, uh, or are you going to stay the same or are you going to make new uh, types of shochu? What, what's your dream? Uh, my dream is to uh, people to recognize uh, that Hawaiian shochu is the, this island's spirits, uh, spirits of aloha. And then that would be the first thing that I would like people in Hawaii to know uh, what Hawaii can offer by using the Hawaii local ingredients. And uh, production-wise, uh, we are up to the max right now, just two of us. So and how many bottles a year? We make about six to 7,000 bottles. And year. that's, uh, for, from a Kagoshima viewpoint, it's very small. Oh, that's tiny, like, tiny. Like several, day, several weeks <laughs> in, in, in yeah. Kagoshima? Okay. And one big off. company yeah. can make our uh, annual uh, yeah. production in like a few hours. Wow. wow. Okay, so it's really handicraft, tezukuri, mm. uh, shochu in, in many ways. Uh, uh, but is there any other ingredient that you thought of in the mm. future? Uh, I, actually, I have already uh, made a shochu with pineapple. <laughs> okay, yeah. is it sweet? No, or it's dry. dry. It's dry, yeah. okay. So all, uh, shochu is always dry, right? Yeah, 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 as long as you ferment and distill, it becomes yeah. dry. And how was it? Was it good? It was unique, <laughs> different. Yeah. Okay. We made one too. Yeah. And last year we tried with ulu, the breadfruit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we played how, with How the, was that, ulu? That was another unique thing yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, because uh, they've always uh, tried to make value added products with ulu for a long time, mm. breadfruit, because of course it disintegrates very quickly. Yeah. And, and so you, it can't be kept, you know, it, it really uh, falls apart. And they talked about making flour and so on. That, that's uh, any other ingredients? Yeah. Um, besides, uh, we, we've been playing with all kinds of ingredients and besides the ingredient, we use the wood, kiabe wood yeah. or uh, uh, strawberry guava wood right. to age our shochu too. Oh. So, uh, you know, all the ingredients, uh, but we wanted to use uh, Hawaii local stuff as much no, as Now, when can. you say uh, um, agent, you mean making barrels or, or, or what? Uh, you put the wood inside the yeah. uh, vat? Okay. Uh, we, we put that, we dip the wood yeah. into shochu oh. and mature the shochu with the wood. Okay. So people usually put the spirits yeah. in the wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Wood in, in the, the spirits. spirits. Okay. And, and that adds a a more mature taste to the... It becomes uh, like whiskey. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. A deeper flavor. Or, it gives a... Uh, wood, wood gives a uh, smokiness, smokiness and, yeah. um, all the characteristics from right. the wood to right. the shochu. Because in Scotland, they use the peat and so forth that yeah, adds yeah, yeah. the smoke and right. so forth uh, uh, flavoring uh, to uh, scotch whiskey. Uh, this is a, a very dynamic, a dynamic uh, uh, product that you have. Uh, Thank you. And... and um, I, I hope that more people will uh, visit you or you know turn to shochu. Uh, I, is it sold only from you right now, or is it sold in any stores um, in, in, in Hawaii? I'm so sorry, but uh, people have been really supportive, so they come all the way to the North Shore uh, yeah. to pick up their orders. Oh, this is very exclusive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have to come to you to yeah, get, uh, get uh, uh, yeah. this uh, tremendous uh, local shochu. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. But they get an opportunity to talk to you and, and see the maker of the shochu uh, that you can't do <laughs> at a store. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll be there uh, to sell our shochu. Yeah, too, right. So. so this is really a, um, uh, you know, a, really a community endeavor in which you are the <laughs> face uh, of your product, uh, and, and you're actually the maker of your product at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but 
So we're coming to the end of the show. Is there anything else you want to tell the people of Hawaii about your product? Oh, uh, so far, Hawaii people have been really supportive. And uh, again, we are so grateful uh, for what we are doing here in Hawaii. So I really appreciate it. Well, we're excited to have you on the show as an entrepreneur from far off Japan and with an apprenticeship in a very traditional kura in Kagoshima by using really Hawaii ingredients, like you said, and making a Hawaiian product. I mean, that, that's, that's the name of the game. And to uh, make more products that we can really uh, promote uh, in our business world. I think that's a tremendous uh, achievement, uh, Mr. Hirata. Thank you. So this is the end of the show. And um, uh, we're, we're really exploring new uh, products uh, every week on business in Hawaii. This is Ray Tsuchiyama. Thank you very much.